Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Networking with Nia Jarfinonu. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the virtual wireless LAN controller inside the GNS3. We are going to learn how to launch a wireless LAN controller inside the GNS3. First, we are going to introduce with all the nodes that I'm using here. This is a virtual LAN controller version 8.3.141. This is a Kimio image. Again, this is a Kimio image that you have to install inside the GNS3. I have two of them. However, in this video, I'm not going to show how to install the Kimio version. You will have a lot of videos in YouTube like this and it shows how to install the virtual wireless LAN controller in the GNS3. This is not the only video, you will have a lot of videos. I will put the link into the description below. Let's get back to our lab. The Kimio image that I'm using, I have already downloaded it here. This is the Kimio image. And this is the OBF file that you have to install inside the VMware. But I am not using this either. I just need this Kimio image. And today our task is from our local host. I can use any web browser and I can log in inside the wireless LAN controller. This is a layer 3 switch. Probably you know how to add the layer 3 switch inside the GNS3 but here I'm going to show you a quickest way. If you go edit preference and then iOS router. This is basically a Cisco 3600 series router that I'm using as an Ethernet switch router here. You have to have the 3640 router image. Then you are going to do new run this iOS router on this GNS3 VM. Next this is the router image 3340 that is Catalyst 3640. You can do this or you can do new image and then you can browse. This is the router image and I'm using it as a layer 3 switch. Next and then basically you have to click here this is an ethernet switch router as soon as you click it you see the name has been changed as ethernet switch router okay let's fire off the cisco wireless lan controller version 8.3.141 and the reason i named it breached here because the ip that i assigned here is from the same ip series of my local host which is my local pc this is ethernet this is my network interface card. I double click and then detail. This is the IP v4 address 192.168.10.28. This is a slash 24 mask. So that's the reason I just named it bridge because it has the same IP range 192.168.10.80. So basically I'm not showing you how to install the Kimio image here but this is the configuration it is super easy to install basically you have to write down all this it will give you all that option you just have to manually put them there i am going to share this prop with you guys in the description by the way i'm not using the service interface here so don't worry about this okay i'm using the management interface and i'm using the vlan 192.168.10.85 that i have allocated here so let's go let's fire up I just press a key now let it be boot up well you have to assign a username and password what I have given there is admin and the password is test123 I will drag the cloud node here I will run on the GNS3 VM okay I will configure it and I will use the Ethernet port 0 and there's a reason behind it I'm going to show you if I go to my GNS3 VM if I do setting there is three network adapters, right? Bridge, NAT, and custom VNet0. If I say configure, if you see here, let me put it side by side. That Ethernet0 means network adapter. It does not have any name. That is why GNS3 is counting it as network adapter 0. Now, Ethernet1, that means network adapter 1 and Ethernet 2 that means network adapter 3 so chronologically that is 0 1 2 don't worry about this 2 3 so again this is Ethernet 0 that means network adapter 0 Ethernet 1 that means network adapter 2 and then Ethernet 2 that means network adapter 3 but I will try to ping my local host 
in order to do that I need to use the bridge okay so I will use the first one that means I will use the Ethernet 0 and then OK Ethernet 0 and then fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and then I would use fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and then see the, here service port and management port I'm going to use the management port here as I told you I'm not using the service interface so this is the IP that I'm using and the IP that I have allocated for that 192.168.10.180 again that is from my actual IP block which is VMNet 0 or bridge so I'm going to fire up now I'm inside the layer 3 switch first I will create the VLAN 10 database VLAN 10 I'll go to global configuration mode and then I will change the host name and then I will go inside the VLAN and description wireless management and then exit interface FA 0 slash 0 I'm here now switch port mode access and then switch port access VLAN 10 exit a switch port has been created now I will create a SPI switch virtual interface in this port I will make it as trunk interface fa0 slash 1 switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q and I have to mention switch port more trunk and then no shut exit I will now assign the IPs inside the VLAN 10 exit do show IP interface brief and then VLAN 10 192.168.10.85 up do show interfaces Faster than net 0 slash 0 connected in VLAN 10 and faster than net 0 slash 1 is trunk. If everything goes well, then I should be able to ping my physical PC. That is the reason I use the cloud node here. I should be able to ping the management interface as well of the wireless LAN controller. That is my physical PC. I can ping if I go back to my physical PC here and if I enable the command do debug ICMP ICMP packet debugging is on ping 192.168.10.85 I'm getting the ping reply I'm going to copy this see ICMP packet debug is off let's try to ping this management interface of that wireless LAN controller which is 192.168.10.80 2 ping 192.168.10.80 ping is successful I can ping my local host which is my physical PC I can also ping the wireless LAN controller now I'll go to a browser and type https clone slash slash 192.168.10.80 your connection is not private okay I will take the risk and I'll click advance and then proceed here login this is the credential that I have created here admin and test 123 admin and then test 123 now I am inside the wireless LAN controller I'm accessing it from my local browser and that was my task